<clears throat> hey, it's Kyle. It's so interesting. I was about to do a video on something else. I was about to do a video uh, with an exercise that I'm really excited to show you guys. And then I looked at my Facebook before I put it up and there was someone that I saw um, that was close to me that had judged me. Um, they said that uh, and they judged me a while ago, but I just saw them in like the reminder file. And it's so fascinating because what I noticed was, but in a while ago they judged me. And what I noticed was when I saw them there, um, I thought of them seeing the exercise I was, I was going to do and then judging me. And it put a block in me. I put a block in myself. Because I thought of a judgment I got from a person, like this exercise I was going to do, I was so excited about, but I got a block in me because someone had just not understood my transformational stuff. It's a close person in my life, and they, they gave me crap about it once, and then when I saw them in the comments, I thought, oh, they're not going to like this, and, it's, and it paralyzed me for a second. And I started feeling into it, and I started thinking about how Part of the reason I felt this paralysis is because I know that what's coming up for me, and I'm really excited about it, was the awareness uh, that I'm making that person more important than my calling. You know, it's someone I've known my entire life, and I've, I've made that person more important than what they think. And um, I noticed myself not able to quite tap into my gift because the part of me that ha that wants that person's love. Uh, was paralyzed and there were so many things that are coming up from that one I have to sit and remember uh, what they think about me isn't ever hurting me this is you know I've I've transcended what almost everyone thinks about me I've transcended what strangers think about me I've transcended what many friends think about me I've transcended what comics think about me and I say this because I think many of us, almost all of us, are always moving from a place of what people think about us. And then it comes down to people like I've known forever, that you just, you know, you want like a parent's type of love or a family member or a friend you've known since pretty much birth, right? And the more you do stuff that's in your calling, the more those people, a lot of times, not everyone, but um, some people uh, judge you. And it's just different than what they know. And you feel a judgment for yourself. But what happens is they say a judgment and then you feel that their love is more important than you. And you feel stifled and you feel pain. And I was just about to make this other video and all of a sudden I felt it and I started thinking about it. And one thing I just want to say is, first of all, being in the place of the one that was felt judged which I know that I'm doing myself, but being in that place, one thing I just want to encourage to people so much is if you have something you want to tell someone about what you think is wrong with them, what you think they could do better, that's really nice, and a lot of times that might be needed, but even more, you know what people just need to hear? Just, I love you. Here's what we don't understand, is when, when people are getting criticized, then they don't feel loved. They don't feel like they're safe. They don't feel like they can be all of themselves. And when you tell someone, even if you have good intentions, like, you, here's what I don't like about what you did, or here's even what you could do better, that's helpful if they're really asking for it. Truly, if they're in a place where they're open and saying, how can we make this better? But I'll tell you something. If I know that I'm just safe and loved, I'm going to thrive. My body will naturally course correct. And someone that you tell just like, I love you, it'll help them access their love and they will suddenly do things better because they know that they're safe. They're safe. Now this is something I need to learn for me because there's very often times where I have wanted to help people that weren't asking for it. There's many times where I'd hang out with someone and immediately start telling them stuff that they weren't asking for. And that probably put them in a position of wanting to make things right for me. And what I could do is just connect with myself and be a safe, another safe space. Now, there's probably people that are going, well, what happens if the guy's being a total jerk to people? Still, here's the thing. If you connect to yourself and you let them feel that love, they might not do that anymore. 
What we don't understand is how amazing we are when we feel finally safe and heard and seen and appreciated, how safe we are and how, how good we are at just course correcting and transitioning old ways of being. When we criticize people and tell them what they're doing wrong, they're already now adding to their mistakes the judgment that you're telling them and then they're self-judging themselves and now they're trying to mentally outdo this thing but their mind is already in a prison because it's thinking of what you said and it's like in this place of now it creates this problem every time it sees you and then it has this problem to overcome. And what's really weird is we do this to the people we're closest to. We do this to people we've known the longest. We criticize our spouses and our partners and our, you know, our family members and we criticize people that we're around the most when we should be loving the people that we're around the most. You're around them the most. And in criticizing other people, we're also starting to kind of say, a lot of times we're saying things we don't like about ourselves. We get very passionate about changing things in the external that we don't like about ourselves and we don't realize it. And very often when I tell someone, you should go give your gift, I'm talking to me. And very often when I say, you should let go of that, I'm talking to me. And um, I realized in seeing that person on my Facebook, um, and feeling that trigger that that needs to be spoken spoken about first and I needed to speak about that because if I denied it and tried to make the other video that I was going to make um, I would have uh, been in that pain and it wouldn't have come through as good but what I just did was talk through what I feel is trying to come through so that instance was needed so that I could learn this and Really, what it just taught me is to give that critique of, I love you. I, you're, you're awesome. Even if, even, if they, even if they're being really crazy, even if they're being awful, sometimes they're being that because they don't know they're loved. And we will transcend quite a bit by just being a space of patience and really starting off by loving ourselves through a lot of self-meditation, through a lot of connection, I'm really starting to see how much there's nothing to fix because the real problem is our mind creates a problem to fix the problem. So we create all kinds of judgment of ourselves. We hold on to all these limitations. We hold on to all these problems. And then we have something that we can overcome. But if we would just continually connect to ourselves and connect to ourselves and connect to ourselves, we'd realize that's all course correcting itself and there's not anything wrong. And we won't be scared to live in a world where nothing's wrong. I think we're actually scared to live in a place where there's nothing to do. You could just actually feel peace. But that's going to be inevitable one way or another. So, thanks.